Do you recognize this? You are in Office 365 tenant and on the right top of your Microsoft Teams environment, you see all those names when you drop, uh, click on the name and the drop down appears. Well, there's a solution for that and we are going to show you in this uh, video how it works. But first, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and even comment on the videos if you like what you see or if you have any questions. Let's go into the demo. First of all, I start here my browser, in this case, Microsoft Teams. And uh, as you can see, this is what I mean. Uh, so here you have KBWorks demos uh, standing. Uh, <laughs> good uh, pronouncement. Uh, but you can change, uh, change this uh, to another organization where you are a guest, for example. Well, in the past, we needed to do a lot to get rid of this organization if we didn't want to show it anymore or uh, if it wasn't necessary to show. Well, now Microsoft Teams has made a change uh, for this. So you can go to your settings menu and to accounts. Here you see all the tenants, all the Office 365 environments where you have a subscription to or you can access as a guest. So in this case, it's KB Works. So here we can click on uh, the three dots and what you see is you can turn off the notification, switch directly to this organization, hide it uh, from showing up at the top or leave the organization. First of all, when we click on hide, uh, what you see is it's uh, crossed here. But if we look here, then we do no longer see uh, the KB Works organization. Second, if I go back here and uh, let's unhide it. Um, but let's say we want to leave this organization. We have uh, finished our project and we don't need to have access longer anymore. So then we can click on leave organization and uh, it will uh, um, uh, ask you, are you sure you want to leave the organization? Uh, because you will uh, be deleted of all groups and uh, you will no longer have access. So I click on leave organization. What happens is it's going to the page which is having all the organizations. If I would be a member of more organizations, they would show uh, down here and uh, you can click here on leave organization. The uh, biggest thing was that people didn't know where to find this. So they made it much easier uh, doing it via Teams. Now, when I click on leave organization, it will show me, okay, uh, once you leave, uh, everything will be gone, your um, uh, privacy settings, etc. So I click on leave and uh, what I get is I successfully left uh, KB Works. Now, when I need to be uh, back in a team or anything else, uh, you need to have somebody on the inside of KB Works who will invite you for uh, for the team join and then they can invite you again or you can contact the I IT admin if uh, you know who it is but most of the time you don't know it if it's a big organization which you do not work for. All right. Um, yes, so this is uh, what I wanted to, to, to explain. I'm curious if you knew this option already and um, maybe you can uh, or maybe please like and subscribe this video and uh, be sure to follow us uh, and uh, see you in the next video.